hi guys sorry it's early morning i literally just woke up so um pardon pardon the look um i wanted to do a quick vlog and um, first of all to show you my current uh bloat which is much better so if you can see here but honestly this is nothing um comparing to how like i used to be um so it's been three weeks now today um yeah it's actually exactly three weeks today since i've gone carnivore as you can see my skin also is getting better obviously i have no makeup as always <laughs> i mean i just woke up but um i definitely feel lighter and i feel better i want to tell you what happened to like one week ago and i was freaking out and basically i showed you in my previous vlog that i was taking all these supplements and doing the carnivore diet uh, for those of you who don't know, carnivore is an elimination diet. So basically, you eliminate um, pretty much everything apart from meat. And so I'm only eating lamb, beef and uh, chicken and organs. And, um, and I was taking all these supplements because that's what the doctor said. And I was like deficient in a lot of things. But I think what started to happen is that I was overdosing <laughs> on all the stuff that I was taking in. So... I started getting reaction to water and it started to freak me out at first like so I went into the pool right for my usual swim and you know like swimming and I'm like itching a little bit and I was like oh that's weird maybe like something bit me or like I don't know you know sometimes you swim and like I don't know something might be touching you and there were some like flies or something in the pool so I just didn't think about anything of it anyway I get out of the pool right um lie down and then i can see like my body's like covered in these like um like lumps kind of thing and i'm just like oh that's water and like what the hell so you know like i brush it off and then literally within minutes i see like it's starting to get all over my breasts like chest area like my legs my stomach my back is itching i'm just like what is going on so i literally within minutes start to become like very itchy covered in these hives that's why I realized what it is. I ran downstairs to my sister and I'm like, oh my God, Inga, I'm freaking out. Something's going on, you know, because I've never had that in my life. And literally, I looked really weird. I looked like I was like a sick person. Um, so she took some photos of me. <laughs> Honestly, it looks so bad because we're freaking out. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. I think I'm reacting to something in the pool. And she was like, oh my God, get in a shower, like wash whatever is in the pool from you. So I got in a shower, started washing, you know, um and then you know start googling stuff like am i allergic to chlorine like i don't know like i was freaking out anyway within 30 minutes um the the thingy started to disappear so i was like oh like that's good and literally within an hour my body went back to normal right like normal so i was like okay this is completely weird there must be something in a pool and then so i told everyone it's like there's something in a pool don't go in there because <laughs> whatever it is we thought that the people didn't clean the pool so uh three days later uh, me and my friend um we were hanging out and i was like do you want to go for a swim you need to test it out because last time i did i was covered in these things so he went and um went for a swim and he was completely fine and i was like what the hell maybe they cleaned the pool so i was like all right i'm gonna test it out so i got in and then literally i was like thinking okay if i start itching i'm gonna get out because i don't want to get covered so badly again um so i got in and within like two minutes i started to itch and i was like oh no not again so i got out and i started getting a small reaction and i was like shit maybe it's not the pool maybe something's wrong with me but then i was like nah i don't know there's still maybe i'm reacting personally maybe not my friends or my sister but maybe i'm reacting to something that's in the water anyway then you know life goes on like the next day i go for a walk with my sister on the beach or two days later i can't remember we're walking and she's like oh it's really hot let's go for a swim I'm like yeah that's that's good let's do it we get into the water we start swimming Within two minutes, I start to itch again. And I'm like, oh my God, no way. Like, no way. Like, what is going on? So I get out and I get the same allergic reaction. So I'm getting these like hives and they appearing like mainly here and like on my back and my legs, but not like as extreme as the first time. Cause the first time I actually was in a pool for 20 minutes. So I think my body was like obviously in shock while well, I was in shock. Anyway, so then I'm like really freaking out at this point. I'm like, oh my God, I'm allergic to water. Like what's going on? Because obviously sea doesn't have any chemicals. 
oh god so i'm just thinking so we're walking we're trying to brainstorm like what's changed because you know two weeks ago i could swim and everything was fine and then the only thing that's actually changed in my life is that obviously i changed my diet completely i went carnivore and i started taking all these supplements and after a while we're like well maybe i'm reacting to this or meat and then it hit me like what if i'm reacting to supplements and my sister was like yeah maybe like it's just like something you know, maybe you're taking too much. So I went on to Google ramp and found that you can be allergic to vitamin B. So you can overdose on B12 or B whatever, B vitamins. And then I was like, oh, maybe, maybe that's what it is. So I checked my, you know, tablets and I saw that every single um, tablet I was taking has already vitamin D, B, sorry, vitamin B12, B6 and all of them. And then the ones that I was taking specifically like vitamin B complex, they had... 25,000 basically dose per day um so i was like all right this all makes sense i'm reacting to vitamin b so i'm just gonna take it out so i took it out um three days later no changes i'm walking outside it's raining and i'm not even joking my hand was out because i was wearing this like raincoat thing um and i get water on my arm and i get these lumps again and i'm like are you kidding me so i'm actually allergic to water now so i was like really freaking out at this point because you know i love swimming and honestly i didn't know what to think i was getting really stressed out and and paranoid and so i was googling more like can you actually be allergic to water and can you believe you can there is such a thing that you're allergic to water but then I was like, but I'm showering and I'm not allergic to my shower. It made no sense. Like, so anyway, then I thought maybe it's just still like an overdose of vitamin B12. Then we went um, on like a weekend trip together with my sister. And, um, you know, I was like paranoid. I couldn't really swim. <laughs> Honestly, it's not really fun when you think you have some sort of weird allergy to water. Like you don't realize how much it affects you. And I was just like, no way. And I was generally like Googling and watching YouTube videos, how people are allergic to water. They can't drink it. There are severe cases where people literally like it hurts them to drink. And I was like, oh my God, if, if this happens to me, like, can anything else go wrong? Um, and then I go to the gym and i was i had this bottle of water and i was carrying it like this you know um because i think i had my phone or something else in my head and i was like i'm gonna go to the gym and the water was like wet and cold at the same time right so i i get to the gym i put my bottle that my bottle there i look at my arm and it starts to itch and i'm like no way there wasn't even that much water there so i'm like starting to you know do my workout i'm just walking and i can see there is this like you know huge like literally looks like a burn on my hand so there was no like little lumps anymore it was literally like a burn where i was holding my bottle and i was like what is happening and it, it was like really kind of painful actually and like looked like a burn and that one didn't go away for literally an hour i was on a treadmill for an hour and that didn't go away for an hour and then i was like okay hang on something completely isn't right so while i was working out i was listening to different types of doctors on youtube and one of the doctors, Ken Berry or something, I think he's famous, um, he said, you know, oh, if you're allergic to water or cold, um, go and have a hot shower. And when you have the hot shower, you calm your body down because basically it's your histamines attacking your body or something basically isn't right, right? So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to test this there. I'm going to go home. I'm going to have a cold shower and see if I'm reacting because there is nothing else that makes sense. And I thought, okay, if I actually am reacting to cold water, that means I have allergy not to water, but allergy to cold things, to cold whatever. Obviously, water and pools are cold. And and then, yeah, I went to the shower. I, you know, shower. And then I put cold water in. And I'm starting to react. And I was like, no, you know, way. I was like paranoid, freaking out. Then I started Googling this whole thing. You can be also allergic to cold. Can you believe this thing? Honestly, I've just discovered two new things. You can be allergic to water, you can be allergic to cold. And by cold, I mean like cold weather, cold anything. And I'm like, how is this happening? How is this possible? And you know, the more I was like reading about it, you can just, de de well, you can just develop this like randomly. And it's called cold euterichia. I don't know if I'm saying it right. And 
so then I'm freaking out and it said like, you know, when you are at home, do an ice cube test because that will literally determine if you have it or not. You basically hold an ice cube test, uh, sorry, ice cube on your like arm, leg, whatever. And you know, if you start to react, that means you definitely have allergy. You develop this allergy to cold. So, you know, I'm stressed out. We get home and like, Inga, I'm gonna do this test. Like, you know, I take the ice cube, I literally held it for like 20 seconds, rubbing on my other hand, you know, just to, to see. And I'm like, oh, nothing's happening, thank God. And then within like, I don't know, a couple of minutes, I start to itch and I'm like, no. And then the same thing happened. I started getting this huge burn on my hand and it took an hour to go away. So then I was obviously completely stressed out and obviously I know it doesn't help getting more stressed out but it's just like you know I'm dealing with so much crap at the moment and like having that extra issue with my health is just it was just too much for me you know and I'm probably gonna get upset because it's just really upsetting me like I'm trying my best you know to kind of heal and like everything is going wrong oh so anyway but I'm not gonna get upset because I'm I'm trying to think positively about all of this and I haven't tested myself since. I mean, I just got to the supermarket the other day and I had like cold meat on my hand and I was getting a bit itchy. But basically I decided to cut out all the supplements that I'm taking because I actually don't know what I'm reacting to. And I still hope maybe it's still a reaction rather than a full on blown allergy to cold because that would literally mess up my life. Um, and I just think my body is generally, you know, healing. So maybe everything's just coming out. I don't know. So that's kind of the update, but in terms of how I feel, like, I mean, my body and like my, like inflammation and, and, you know, my energy levels and just how I sleep, everything has improved. You know, I know it's only been three weeks. I was going to do only one week on carnivore to see if I can do it. Now it's three weeks. I'm doing uh, a whole month, but I think I'm going to do six weeks now to see if I feel even better. But yeah, so all the supplements that I was taking, I think it was just too much. I don't know what exactly I'm reacting to. I'm gonna go and do full blood work, I think on Monday, just to make sure, because I was deficient in a lot of stuff. Like I was deficient in vitamin B, I was deficient in vitamin D, magnesium, iron, all of these things that are like key, okay? They're key for optimal health for everybody. B6, um, you know, selenium, uh, folic acid, um, all of these things that are needed for your body. So I'm gonna do a full blood test. Um, and see if I'm still deficient because maybe the carnivore diet is actually giving me all the nutrients I need. So I'm not going to supplement anymore. And then if this allergy, not if, when this allergy goes away, which I hope I haven't swum in the water for the last obviously week. Um, when it goes away, then I'll add one supplement at a time. Like if I need to like, cause yeah, um, magnesium, vitamin D are really essential for me. So yeah sorry for my rant i just i was just like really shocked for a few days so it took me a few days to process it and now i can talk about it because before i was like crying um and now i'm like okay i'm just gonna I'm just gonna take this it's just everything's happening um and i'm healing and that's why this year i'm dedicating it to healing myself and to really really get healthy and yeah, if anyone knows anything about this, if you ever heard of this type of thing, then let me know because I think it's the weirdest thing that I've ever experienced and I've never even known before that this type of allergy exists. Um, and it's awful. I'm sorry if anyone actually generally has it and I hope that mine is gonna go away. I've just decided it's going away. Um, it's it's a nightmare, like it's, it's just weird. It's weird. Anyway, rant over. Thank you for watching the vlog and if you have any questions let me know and i'll update you in maybe next week uh, or week after that to see what my results are bye